Who are you? Quincy Matthew Hanley, Schoolboy Q. Schoolboy Q, welcome to South by Southwest, Austin, Texas. And welcome to my beautiful home. And right off the bat, School by Q, I have a gift for you to welcome you to Texas via Vancouver, the Cheech and Chong record with, if you open it up. Cheech and Chong, shit. The rolling paper intact. <laughs> oh, I never knew this shit had roll. So I can actually smoke this? Yes, that's very important to Schoolboy, isn't it? The rolling paper. Yeah, but... um. You can smoke it and listen to the record at the same time. Yeah, that's crazy. This is a thick-ass paper, though. That might hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Oxymoron is quite interesting. There's a lot of blood crip history involved in it, isn't there? Yep, yep. Could you explain about that, the history that's behind that? I mean, you know, it's game banging is living and it's never going to die. You know what I mean? And I just wanted to put my point of view on it and that it's never going to die as much as we want it to be over with. I mean, that's not part of my life no more. But, yo, know, like, I thought all oh, your interview was supposed to be funny. Why you asking me serious shit? <laughs> Actually, that leads into this right here, Schoolboy Q. I want to ask you, do you know anything about the Bloods and Crips together on Banging on Wax? Of course. Are you kidding me? I can get in trouble for listening to this. This is crazy. What? Hell yeah, I know everything about this. Yeah, what can you tell the people about this? Why would you get in trouble? What exactly is Banging on Wax? <laughs> That's going too far. They be people dissing other people's hoods. and You know what I mean? This is like when Gangsta Rap was like at its full-fledged height. And then it was like the real, real, real street people that was still in the street was Ayo got the opportunity to rap. And they were just dissing each other hoods and, you know, stuff that doesn't shouldn't be going on now. You know? But it's quite a positive thing, though, because it was Bloods and Crips coming together for a record. Yeah, but, I mean, at the same time, they're still dissing each other. So it's like coming together just to start feud with the people that wasn't in the studio. <laughs> so, I mean, it's cool, but, yeah. Banging on wax. <laughs> yeah, banging on wax. With Schoolboy? Q. Schoolboy, do you still keep up with Andre Harris at all? Ah, uh, nah, not really. Or Sam Rogers? Uh, nah, I play football with them. Yes. What Andre, can you Andre was the running back and Sam was the receiver. I was curious, what exactly is going on right here, Schoolboy Q? Uh, Who's number 84 right there? That's me. That's crazy. Um, ah, that's Sam right there. <laughs> That's crazy. So this is you playing football. Bit of background, please, Schoolboy Q. Yeah, I was a receiver. Cause I don't remember what play happened. It, it had to be something tight because I'm, I'm obviously amped. <laughs> so I don't know what, what happened. I obviously missed this pass. Um, looks tight there, though. Yeah, yeah. You know, it looks tight. You know, my socks is nice, you know. Got the belt hanging. I look sweet out there under armor, gloves on, visor. I'm all right. All right. But yeah, Sam. Shout out to Sam, man. I ain't seen him in so long, dog. Like since this season. That's crazy. And Andre Harris too, right? Yeah, yeah. They both went on to play football like like at different schools too. Did you put him on the guest list ever when you play gigs? I haven't talked to him since football. Like they kept football like I knew I was not going to play football no more after that season. So they It looks amazing though, the pick. I love you in action there. Yeah, this is crazy. This is kind of tight that you got this. Nobody really sells this. Schoolboy Q, Man of the Year. Yep, Man of the Year. You sampled the Chromatics from Portland. Yep, I definitely sampled them, and they cleared it. And I love it. The Chromatics, I like to give you a gift here. It's the Italians Do It Better compilation that has the Chromatics cherry on it. Oh, that's crazy. It's a great compilation. It's got a whole bunch of other bands, so more stuff free to sample. Yeah, for sure. I mean, um, I don't know if they're going to be cool with me sampling again, but we're going to try it. There's other bands in that compilation, too. How did you discover the Chromatics, Cherry? Like, I think it's cool. Portland, Oregon, South Central, together. I mean, I've been knew about Chromatics, you know what I mean? But Nez and Rio, they, that was on them to uh, sample it. I knew about the Chromatics. It was just a coincidence that they had sampled them, you know what I mean? And I liked the record. I, I knew what the record was when they played it. Like, yo, that's the Chromatics joint, you know what I mean? And I just spit, you know? Hopefully there's a few more gems on there that you can uh, discover. Yeah, I hope so. I'm, you know, they that's still my biggest song to date, Man of the Year. School by Q, if you're hungry, do you ever go to Fishland? Are you into fish? Ah, uh, Fishland. Don't ever eat at Fishland. It's on 51st and Fig. I love them for I love them to death, but man, that's some bad man. They the people that they got working in there, I know them people. And I know what they do when they get off of work and they cooking a fish, yo. That's not what's up, yo. I know them dudes. They hang with me. They used to be on my block, dog. Like, and they are back there cooking a the fish after just coming through smoking a whole session in a hot box. 
then go in there, and I know the type of dudes they are. And they, ain't, they ain't right, dog. Don't go to Fishland on Fifty First, dog. Don't do it. How about Coco's Liquor? Ever been to Coco's uh, Liquor? Shout out to Miss Hine. I love Coco's Liquor Store. You know what I mean? I used to steal from her all the time, like all the time. I paid her back the other day when I came. I came over to the block. I did some stuff for uh, Red Bull or whatever, and um, I gave her like two hundred dollars for all the stuff that I stole or whatever. She really took the money though. <laughs> But yeah, Miss Han, that was that was that was crazy. I seen her in the riots. I was a little kid when the riots was jumped off. Everything was getting beat up and tore down, and her store was the only one that really didn't get messed with until one of the homies, my well, actually the homie and my uncle, they ran in there. Then next thing you know, like after the riots is kind of over, you see Miss Han running down the street out the back of the uh, out the door after nobody touched it the whole riot. Then my uncle and the, one of the homies like. It's some weird stuff, like when it was over though, like when it had nothing to do with the riots no more and they still ran in there like late. <laughs> Shout out to Coco's Liquor. Yeah, Coco's Liquor store, it got so much history. I heard she's selling it, man. I wish I could buy it. Did you ever have an MTV reality show with Tyga? Yep, <laughs> back in the day. It never got aired though. But, yeah. What was it about? What was your role? Just to be there, the, the, the ugly homie from the, the streets. That was it. It never got aired though. What was the premise of it? I don't know. I was just heard a check. I was like, let's do it. <laughs> now, you're also in a Tiger video, Coconut Juice? Yeah, I'm in a few Tiger joints. Where can we see you on the Tiger stuff? Uh, <laughs> I'm, <just laughing. laughs> I'm in Coconut Juice. I'm in like a couple other Tiger videos. <laughs> Don't be scared, School by Q, Mrs. Rickenbach. That was one of your teachers. Oh, uh, Miss Rickenbach. Damn. Man, my health teacher, she had so much ass, dog. But she failed me like three times. This bitch was the only bitch that would fail me. Like, my grades was always good. Like, I probably would have had like a 3.8 or a 4.0 if it wasn't for this bitch keep failing me three years straight. I was the only senior that had like elective classes, fifth and sixth period. But had to still go to health, ninth grade subject, up until my 12th grade year because of her. And I had the same teacher. They kept giving me the same teacher over and over again. Have you been able to contact her, though? Nah, if I do, I bet I could fuck now, for sure. I could fuck. That bitch was on, like, blind dating some old shit. That bitch was trying to eat. I'll hit her now, for sure. Like, remember me? Yeah, I'm going to fuck her one day. That's really honorable of you. Yeah, I'm going to fuck her one day. She failed me. She deserved it. I'm going to fuck her, let her leave. Let her feel, take the walk of shame. All the homies going to be down there. Like, yo, you got an A-plus today. <laughs> ba -boom. You got an A-plus today. You know what I'm saying? Schoolboy Q, have you had any more violin lessons at all? Uh, hell no. Nah. Was, that was what I was like at, like, kindergarten. Then my mama just stopped. Like, I got kicked out because the dude cut my duck tail when I was little. And I beat the dude up. And then the teacher, I didn't even know the teacher whooped me. Like my mama had me like at some whooping school. Like now, it's like right over there by Crenshaw High School. Where did the ducktail cutting happen? Where'd that all happen? Sleep. You know how you have nap times and shit. Like when you're in like kindergarten, first grade, whatever. I was sleep, and my homie he cut my ducktail, and my shit. It wasn't that long, but it was like you know had a little lift on it, and I was mad, and I beat him up, and then like he just kept crying. Like you know he like kid. He just kept, he wouldn't stop crying. Then the teacher whooped me. Then my mama came there. Then she act like she didn't know it was a school that you get whooped at. And then she like went off and then they didn't accept their money no more. And I had to go to 52nd Elementary. That guy should have held on to the ducktail. Would have been worth something now, eh? Oh uh, yeah, I wanna know. He probably a bitch ass nigga somewhere being busted out probably right now in jail being marked out or something. Like he type of nigga, you supposed to be my homie, cuz you cut my ducktail off. And also, he screwed you up learning about the violin. Yeah, man, I was at a good school, man. They taught you piano at that motherfucker. They threw me right out. That's crazy. That would have put me right in, right in the set, back to the set, 52nd Street Elementary. Cold. School by Q, anything else you want to add to the people out there at all? Oxymoron is better than you. And um, thank you for all the info and all the um, dope shit you gave me. You smoke weed? You are School by Q. Yeah, but do you smoke weed? You are schoolboy Q. You're the one that smokes weed. <laughs>
<laughs> but you have the Tommy Chong record with the rolling paper. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I may have to try this out, but I don't know if you bullshit because it's some thick-ass paper, dog. No, it's the official paper. And if you try to find this album, I've given it to other rappers here and there, but I had to give it to you. You never find it with a rolling paper. Year, This has been tested for years and years and years. That's crazy. I'm going to smoke it now. This is amazing. I've given the record out to various rappers, but I've never had them actually do it like right in front of me. This is incredible. You lying or not? Shit, we gonna put you out there. <laughs> incredible i've given the record to other people before mm -hmm. but never have they really taken such a vase of action those they don't take you serious i respect what you do homie don't trip i fuck with you i fuck with you the niggas don't fuck with you the way i fuck with you dog. Well, i fuck with you my nigga you my nigga you're sucking on rolling paper it's been in a record for 40 years <laughs> 40 year old rolling paper it's amazing it just may be rolling paper this motherfucker sticking there hang on <laughs> Another update here with Schoolboy Q. What's going on right now? What stage are we at? Nigga, finish. Where light are at? This motherfucker, maybe I think this is the real one. Ain't go. <coughs> it's the real one. <laughs> hey, I'm, I doubted you, bro. I'm not lying. It's the real one. It didn't hurt. <laughs> it really didn't hurt. I thought I was about to die. You right. Hey, I really fuck with you. You a real nigga. <laughs> well, thanks so much, Schoolboy Q. Anything else you want to add to the people out there at all? This shit is good. <coughs> <coughs> well, why should people care about Schoolboy Q? Why should they care? <coughs> I'll give you that real shit. I ain't no rapper, cause I just tell you what it is. And there's not many other rappers that will smoke forty-year-old rolling uh, paper. Niggas be being fake with you. Oh yeah. Oh, thank you. Nah, my nigga, smoke that shit. Um, hit it. Amazing. Thanks so much, Schoolboy Q. Keep on rocking in the free world and do do the loot do. Mm hmm. Yeah. All right, that's it.